Hi everyone. We just wanted to, this is Ben and Lacey, and we just wanted to send out big thanks to everyone for this amazing miracle that you created. Thank you so much. We are so, we are just so incredibly grateful from the bottom of our hearts. Um, I wanted to let you know that I have now secured an appointment with the transplant team the beginning of November, um, which is so incredible. This is going to be the four-day event um, to assess, do a kidney transplant assessment. And we are going to just keep you all abreast of what's going on over the course of this whole process and keep you posted and on my Facebook page, Ben's Facebook page, and the Kidney for Lacey fundraising page. Um, you'll be getting a thank you letter from me soon. Um, but we mostly just wanted to show you our faces and mm. so you can feel with us and connect. Um, we feel so connected to all of you. Um, connect on this level and let you know how, what this means to us. Yeah, it's super humbling and uh, can't thank you enough for uh, just being by our side and sticking with us and helping us through a really tough time. It, it makes it all possible and it keeps our hearts going. and. Um, gives us motivation to keep putting one foot in front of the other uh, to make it through. It's it's not our first go, uh, so we're fortunate that we kind of know what we're in for, I guess, in a way. Uh, we just by no means expected that we would be uh, running into this challenge or our second time with it uh, at this point in time in life. Yeah. Uh, this all happened very quickly and uh, much faster than the experts typically ever see it happen, mm -hmm. and so it really took us all by surprise. And uh, thankfully, we have uh, seem like we're at a spot where Lacey is getting some stability, uh, which has been a problem. We haven't been able to kind of thwart the, the, the steady decline uh, until very, very recently. Uh, so we're very thankful for that as well. Uh, the goal here is that, is that we can try to avoid Lacey having to go on to dialysis uh, in this interim of her receiving a kidney transplant. And so yeah. now that we're getting a little stability, if we can maintain that stability, we'll have a smoother transition going from uh, where her kidney function and, and things are at right at this moment uh, directly into a transplant, which all of that helps um, put more eggs in the basket of, of, of better success and less stress upon Lacey and her body and things like that uh, by not having to go on dialysis. Of course, yeah. we also have a lot of other pieces to line up uh, with a donor, um, and there's a lot of questions about how all that works, and so maybe we'll make a post about that in the future as well. But in a nutshell, the ideal scenario is that she has a live donor, someone who uh, begins with a blood type match, and then they have to go through testing uh, to uh, basically get a write-up and an assessment of, of compatibility beyond uh, just what the, the blood results uh, offer as well. So yeah. uh, that's the best case scenario. We don't want to be on a transplant list. Nobody does uh, if you can avoid it because the current wait time for that is is six years. Mm -hmm. And Every even then year. you may get a cadaver donor and uh, they just don't have as much longevity when you receive uh, one of those organs if, it, if it's not from a living donor. So, um, and of course, some people don't make it. Uh, to having their number come up when they're on the waiting list. So we feel very much for the people who are on the waiting list that yeah. haven't been able to find or locate a live donor that will work for them. Anyone and, that's been through this. And our hearts understand. go out to them uh, in, in this time especially. And so uh, that's where things are at. So uh, we do have a bunch of people. It's just been incredible the number of people that as soon as they they heard that Lacey was starting to have some some troubles with kidney function. We had some people just literally lining up at the door saying, does she need a new kidney? I'll give her mine today, yesterday. Uh, and that kind of level of love and giving is just um, really overwhelming and incredible. And uh, we just can't say enough. And so um, 
we know that there's just a lot going on in the world right now and um you know there's so much that needs attention there's so many people that need help and i just feel really grateful to everyone for giving to me and and um you know just being such a huge part of this puzzle and i don't know it just is really i think instilled in both of us just how incredible humanity is and that it doesn't matter what you believe in or what you think that we can band together and there's still hope in the world and you you've given us so much hope hope for life hope in humanity and we just we feel so close to you we feel so connected to you because you you connected with us so thank you so much and we can't wait to give back and yeah. so we we those were the other topics of conversations a lot that we're having these days is is uh, when we get on the back side of this, just the fervor we have burning inside of us to continue to, in all the ways that we can in the future, to be there for you and yeah. to for other people and to give back to uh, our community and to individuals with with our love and support and, and hopefully financial gifts and things like that as well. So so thanks for being on the team and, and uh, we'll be in touch with you again soon. Thank you. We love you. Lots of love.